Welcome to the Pear Tree Podcast. And welcome, Sandy. Welcome, everyone. Nice to have you joining us on a sunny Ray Albee day today for the 25th episode of our podcast. Yeah, it's creepy after that's crazy. Just the usual today, we're going to chat about all our gossip, catch up on what we've been up to in our games this week. Have you had a good Animal Crossing week? Yeah, I have actually I had a day off on Monday, so I got a wee head start to start terraforming using the custom design that we were looking at last week. Yeah, I got a sneak peek this afternoon, and I'm very impressed. Yeah, it's been a it's been a big project, but I think it's paying off. I'm happy. It's always nice to have another project to kind of roll into after the last one. Yeah, I had, to, I had such a big spaces i was actually going to get a bit overwhelmed but when i seen that design i really liked it so i had to use it somehow so that was like i just had to try and design around it so you're happy with the results that you're getting because you weren't sure last week yeah so i think i had tried to just create a natural look with the trees like the pictures had shown but i just wasn't it wasn't looking good to me so i just decided to just terraform some water into it to make it look more swampy and natural yeah so you've got it looking land. like bridge kind of walkways going over the water yeah so yeah. not so much as like bridges like hovering and everything just like um like a path just protecting all the natural uh, it looks really cool it must have been a lot of hard work terraforming all the water oh the water is the worst it's a pain isn't it yeah. Yeah. And then I've got I've wanted to have trees like in the little like many little islands almost, but you've got to have it so big because they they can only plant the tree in a larger area because you can't yeah. do the the trick and I don't think you can do that in the first level, can you? No, it the needs to be on a trees, cliff. So yeah. it's been a pain, but I think it's worth it. I'm happy so far. Just need to decorate now. Yeah, it's very impressive. It was nice to come over and have a little uh, sneak peek today. And I caught up with some old railway friends as well. Got to see Blair for the first time. Yeah, I've got four. Yeah, I've got four now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was nice bumping into Blair again. And uh, saw Barold as well. He was doing well. He said, it was raining when I came over and he said that if his clothes get dirty on a rainy day that he just jumps up and down in puddles for a couple of hours and then they're all clean. Mm. Uh, Coco was looking cute in her rain gear as well. She had the little leaf umbrella, didn't she? Oh, yeah, she did look really, really cute. I had not seen anybody use a leaf one yet. It was just perfect for her. Yeah, she had a wee green uh, dress on that yeah. a friend had gave her for her birthday. It just sits her. And then she popped on her little ring coat as well later on. Oh, yeah, when you come back. Um, yeah, but, uh, Benji had changed. He had um, the bamboo hat on. He looked so cute with it on when it was raining. And then he changed it to like his normal clothes with a umbrella, but it was one of like the paper parasol things. It was like the <laughs> white and pink one. Yeah, not a lot of use in the rain. Nah. Uh, I dropped in to see Graham, and what have you given him to wear? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he had on a pink cardigan. Did he? Is it a pink cardigan? No, it's, it's a tailored a tailored jacket, I'm sure. Something like that. Right, that's not the real crime, though. In his house, he had a jockey uniform on the mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been giving him? I've not been giving him. He's. I don't gift him anymore. Anything like that he can change, but he always asks to buy my clothes. So, but it's usually items that I've just been given. If I have to exchange fruit with the villagers, so I've just not even checked it. I've not. I was just going to take it to the the recycling or not Tom Nook. So I never check what it is. So you're saying it's the other villagers' faults. Yeah, well, Graham asked for my tailored jacket. How did I know that it was pink? I think it's a career jacket. No, it was just a tailored jacket. I can't remember. Anyway, he had that actually displayed 
the other day and when I went to see him, he hadn't had it hadn't seen him wearing it till today. It didn't suit him very well, unfortunately. Poor little guy. No. It was nice to see him anyway, even uh, with his little his little fashion disasters. Yeah. Oh, actually, Coco gave me a great, not great, present the other day. She had, um, you know, the way they call you by your like, nickname. Yeah. And run up oh, to you. Oh, bestie. Yeah. Bestie. And <laughs> she's like running through the trees. And it was, she's like, oh, I've got something for you. I was like, oh, great. What has she got me? And then it's like full body tights. I was like, oh, come no. on, I'll be back to this. Yeah. This is what it was like last year. Maybe it is like a year thing. Like seasonal, seasonal thing yeah. that they give you. That's one of the worst though, isn't because it? I can just remember. Yeah. Oh, because I, I don't mind. I hate it now because I've got all the colours now. But I didn't mind at the start because it meant I was getting all the different colours from the villagers. But, yeah. No thanks, Coco. I dropped in on Audie while I was uh, visiting as well. She she said that uh, she was really looking forward to watching TV tonight because Black Hole Skull Beasts Part 7 is going to be on. Are you looking forward to settling in to watch Black Hole Skull Beasts tonight? Oh, I'm not sure if I built to stay up that late. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's she's funny. I never would have picked her as being a, a like a pure horror fan. Oh, actually, neither would have I. But she, the other night, she was in the graveyard, like, you know, the graveyard behind the museum, yeah. beside Lucky's house. And she was working out there. Oh. <laughs> Which is kind of strange. Yeah. I can't remember if it was late or not. Get the urge to work out, then graveyards as good a place as any, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I've seen that. She's probably a good place to howl at the moon. I should have stayed a wee oh, bit longer. Because oh. although I say she looks like a fox, she has a wolf, mm. isn't she? So. I think some of my guys might be turning into jocks, you know. I can't remember who it was that said it to me today, but they were talking about how they were getting really into some kind of sport. Uh, and then the other day, Biscuit was saying that he wants to get into powerlifting. And, but the, the thing was, he didn't really know what powerlifting was. And he was a bit uh, confused about whether he needed like another person to play with him or, uh, yeah, poor Biscuit didn't really know what was going on. He said he might just have a run around Ray Albee instead. But there are a couple of uh, things like that this week. They're trying to fill the hole left by not having any jocks on the island. I don't think I've got any jocks. Have I got a jock? Oh my God, that's so bad if I do. When you've forgotten them. No, because I've got like four lazies and three smugs. Three smugs, two smugs now. Oh my God, I'm so bad. That's okay, I find it hard to... Yeah. Recall them like it sometimes. Sometimes I have to check. It's like the it's map. ready minds, not ready minds. Minds rotate often, but just as you were saying, is like they were working out. Gonzo had said to me the other day about like, do you ever just like get a hobby and it's like, that's all you do, or whatever, or something like that. And then he's like, I, I just love um, cabbage, ch chopping cabbage, <laughs> like all day, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Hi, it was just random. Then he's just talking about making coleslaw. Oh, coleslaw. That was, yeah. Well, for, with cabbage. I thought, well, if he was chopping it all day long, like he'd have to be pickling it or making sauerkraut or something or kimchi. Unless he's eating a lot of coleslaw. Maybe, maybe he's the sandwich maker of the town. Hey, so remember last week you were encouraging me to let a random villager move into my empty plot? Oh, yeah. I did. Who was it you got? It was Phoebe. Oh, Phoebe. Oh, she's so cool. I think you did. i seen that when you posted on the Discord, actually. That's good. I know, but what I thought good, just to announce it villager. to everybody. Yeah, she's yeah. a great... She's a great villager to move in i was really happy to see her she's got an amazing house weird lava house 
and she's already really like really cool been getting getting to know her this week I like the ones when they've got like their name their house like matches their personality like obviously she's like Phoebe Phoenix and the way she looks there's like flames and all that so I think I like yeah. that yeah so she came from Galactic so I don't know who whose okay. villager she was before but she's um, very, been very tastefully dressed so far which is nice and yeah, I've just really enjoyed getting to know her. She's really cool. And she said the sweetest thing to me today. She said, if you ever need someone to hear out your troubles or if you just need a shoulder to cry on, then just let me know. Oh, that was nice. What, what personality is Phoebe? She's a big sister. Big sister. So I've got three big sisters on my island right now. Oh, how's Shadi coping? With some competition. Yeah, she's fine. She's happy. Is she really happy? I've I seen some pictures to prove otherwise today. <laughs> I think she was being nice when she said she liked my gift that I gave her. Well, yeah, she didn't seem too happy about the dress that she was wearing today, which is the one that you gave her for her birthday. But she's been wearing it like every day, so... Uh, no, that's uh, probably why her skin's crawling. She f- fleas. <laughs> what? Because she hasn't washed it. Yeah, or mites or something like that. I don't know what you get when you don't wash your clothes. <laughs> uh, no, she was complaining about the dress, but she's you know complaining. She said like, what's it? She said her skin crawls or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to need to come over and leave her a gift. It was a lovely, thoughtful gift. and uh... Well, actually, you know, some of the animals, species, are based on, like, specific species of that, like, subspecies of the, that animal. Yeah. And Shari, the monkey that she's based on, pees on their hands and feet. Just saying, Shari, you're no one to judge. That's quite disgusting. Maybe that's why they're yellow. Oh, my God, I should have said that. Why did I say that? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a bit offended to Shari. I can't believe it. Uh, I shouldn't have shared those pictures with you. I'm sorry. No, it's funny though. It did make me laugh when I seen them. I don't want to cause a rift in your relationship. <laughs> I've bought a set of the carnations for her because she's really into flowers. So I've got a set. Uh, to go on the table that's outside her house. Oh, I could give her some as a gift, couldn't I? She might put them up inside her house. Um, I think oh, they'd I look quite nice. nice. Yeah. I didn't even think about giving them carnations. I'm going to give, actually, I'm going to give Blair carnations. I forgot yeah. how much flowery her house was. So I've tried to yeah. put some nice flowers outside and I'm, I'm going to need to gift her the carnations. Cherry's come up to me a couple of times this week and said... Um, that she's really annoyed that nobody believes that she's really into flowers, but she is. And then she said, can you help me like spread the word around the island that I actually really love flowers because it's so annoying? And I think she said something like, is it because of the way I dress or like how I talk that people don't think I like flowers? So I think my next project is going to be to make cherry her very own sort of flower garden. So I never did oh, any nice. uh, breeding or anything, hybrid breeding or stuff like that when the game first came out. So I might actually set up a little kind of hybrid garden. Fence You're going to need off. to give her some, um, maybe the rose, uh, not maybe not rose, but the flower crowns or the reef their door oh yeah the wreath for her door would be nice wouldn't it yeah I, I don't know how, how the crowns of that sit on it but I think the, the wreaths would be a nice a good option because that means it's they're always there on mm. display yeah that is a good idea maybe I'll put some flowers out for her to grow and then craft a wreath from them that'd be nice 
Yeah, she said that to me twice this week, so I think she really is yeah, quite upset about her reputation. That's a shame. <laughs> it's her birthday coming up soon. Is it? When's her birthday? Mm. Uh, it's on the 11th of May, so next week. And Biscuit as well, actually. He's uh, on the 13th, so two, two birthdays next week. Oh, nice. That'll be a nice little project, won't it, to make her a nice flower garden for in time for her birthday. Oh, that'd be so nice. And then you know, obviously decorate it for her birthday. Yeah. How are all your guys doing this week? You had any mover in mover ins or mover outs? Move it move inners? No. Move I, I haven't this week. No, I think Audie's been the last one. And I've not had any campsite villagers, visitors yet, so I there's been a few thought bubbles, but do you know what? I've been doing something really, really bad. It's horrible. But see when I can see somebody that I don't want to leave with a thought bubble, but I want to speak to them. I bop them on the head with a net. What? I'm out of their <laughs> it bops them out of their bot. But they're fine. <laughs> Do you bop them on the head until they get angry with you? No, no, no. See if they've just got a little thought bubble, just once and then it pops them out and then if you speak to them straight away they're just like, Oh hi. Like they don't it's not they don't need they're not oh. angry with you or anything. You just broke in their reverie and Yeah. Brought them brought them round. So I don't know if they've just been asking to do stuff um, or not but Audie asked me something like oh do you want to go down and play some go to the beach or something and I thought that was like oh is this like a new update or something have I missed it and I was like sure and then that was it like the end of conversation that's it and then nothing happened I thought it was going to be like inviting them to their house like you could or you know they've been asking yeah. for like a picnic well and I think it was Tabby I think one of yours yeah. I don't know if one of yours had said but no I'm severely disappointed oh she's got a proper beachy house as well isn't she she's uh obviously likes the uh the beach life but uh, yeah she's like been walking about in the rain like with her sundress on her sunglasses are rolls on her head yeah. and just like an umbrella and then I was thinking, I don't know, does, if you give her a hat, does it replace the sunglasses? Or if you give her some... Oh, no, I think I've seen pictures of her with, like, two pairs of sunglasses on. <laughs> so you can always try it out. Yeah, yeah try it out halves. So I'll, I'll get back, I'll update. But I've moved her uh, house to the beach now. Oh, cool. Um, I need taxis where I had my house temp. Uh, up beside Tabby's and I moved that back down to like the mainland but I put Texie's house there so that I could open them up to like wee flower gardens to store all my, my flowers so I've got like one each each type of flower out just so at any time I can try and read it if I need more um, mm. so I'd made them into wee like gardens almost but I need like where Texie's house is I need that um open for me to put another incline there um, I've moved his, I'm going to move his where Audie's is because she's went to the beach her house is like a cafe I think we spoke about that last week yeah it's really oh it's obviously got this uh, the wallpaper and yeah it's like the beach um, so I was like that's like a cat almost like a cafe in our house so I'm just going to put some outdoor seating areas to make it look like an extended like an outdoor cafe oh, lovely on the beach it's been nice having that big bit of beach back because I had it obviously I had the, I had the catalogue events and things there and then I had the the race there so it's been nice to have that big long stretch of beach now I've just covered it up but it's for a good cause yeah the beaches are quite tricky though like see for, for nooks I quite liked them on the beach but I was getting them in that position because they're so nooks is so big oh you've moved them up to the museum haven't you I saw today yeah so when you come out the airport it is still more natural that like you're having to walk around along the walk pathways the raised platforms um to get to like resident services and the resident area and then when you get to over the bridge it's more i think i've just used the red brick again to get to like the shops like shopping district into the 
So I put the fountain down because, you know, I think I've got like three fountains in storage because I think I was changing... I was making more before I changed to cut. Realised you could customise them. Uh, so I had like free in storage. So oh, I had to use one. They're, yeah, they're a lot of stone as well, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. That looked really cool though, having that by the sort of down a level from the museum. It looked really nice. Do you think that's where you'll leave Nooks and Abel's now? Yeah. Though? I feel about the now, yeah. I'm not quite sure, like whether to separate them or not. I don't seem to, yeah, I don't seem to go to Abel's as much now. It's only really in special events or like coming up, but so I don't know if, if I put it in a place, I'm just not going to visit that place because there's no reason for me to. I'm not sure. I went in once this week and just thinking, oh, I'll see what they've got in uh, Abel's and I might put on a new outfit today and then I tried to go in the changing room and she said you can't go in there where you're under a transformation wand so I just walked out in a strop and didn't buy anything <laughs> and that's mm. the only time I've been in there for like two months oh, I've not even been in it this week but just as you were talking about the wand when you were over visiting today you were saying that um, you had to drop your wand and that mean you, meant you lost your wand transformation. I mm. didn't know that. I don't know. I've no. obviously never been without a wand or when I've been under transformation. So I had to experiment when you told me that. So I changed into my rainy day outfit and then dropped my wand. Yeah, you just sort of puff out of it, don't you? Yeah. I've been using my wand a bit more. I had to use it today to put my rainy day outfit on to come and see you it was so rainy oh yeah that's probably a good thing it wasn't recording at mine I would have had to time travel and I bought turnips this week you bought them as well yeah I just I've been just buying them just because I'm lifting trees so just to eat them oh right not to sell no 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 yeah I bought a pocket full of turnips this week sold them at uh a very, very small profit, but profit. I was uh, like going and waiting outside Nooks every morning for them to open at like 7.59. I'm there kind of banging on the door, trying to find out their <laughs> turnip price, but mine's been really bad this week. I think I was predicted about 200 and I sold them for 185 at yours. It was not too bad. I think I made about 300,000 bells. Yeah, probably could have made more. But that's production cost for you. I'll buy some again this week. We'll see. Poppy had a dream that she made like three million bells on the stock market this week. She probably has. But if she did though, that would mean that she'd been buying more than one pocket full. And that's like advanced, yeah. it's advanced she's turnip. A, she's a she's a squirrel, like they. I just think she's burying them. Hoard, yeah, they hoard her, like their all their things, yeah, yeah. She's on. She's sitting on a gold mine. Yeah, she better not sit on them too long, though. Not like nuts, where you know. Oh you, yeah, you can come like back. A, yeah, let's yeah, you can come she, back. She can yeah. sell them now. It's a bit of a relief to have sold them. Get a bit tense towards the end of the week. Get, get the turnip fear. Oh, yeah. I thought a couple of days. I think a Thursday is probably a good day. Yeah. If you find a decent price. Did you do the May Day tours this week? I did. I've only done one. I need to do the other two. I've done it with uh, the third, my third character who lives in the tent in the woods. Oh, nice. I've done it first so you, time. That's great. Which I, I can oh, never do it first, it first time. time. Last, yeah, and I got all the bail tickets last year. What? I didn't, I didn't even get all the bail tickets, but I, I got the obviously the end. How did you do it first time? I don't know. I think it was just because I knew what to expect this time and I was just being careful. And I think because you're more experienced with like the tools and things because obviously last year crafting was like still 
No. Right, I'm not even going to tell you how many attempts it took me. It's just embarrassing now. How many attempts? No, no, I'm not telling. I'm not saying. Yeah, you're going to have to tell it now. You could have just carried on and I wouldn't have even asked. Well, <laughs> put it this way. Um, even when I try, I was like, so I've done it with all my characters now. And when I tried it with my second character, I still had to restart it at least three times. <laughs> and that, that was after I'd already done it uh, with my so main character. So how many times was the first one? At, at least six restarts. No, what? <laughs> I know. It does take a while. You need to, like, well, it took for me a while, but, like, just to work it out before try to go and dig everything. Yeah, I think, uh, like, a few times it was trial and error, and a few times it was just, make, just making uh, thoughtless mistakes. But I wasn't very happy when I had to do several restarts when I played again. To be fair, there were a few days in between those two tries, but it's not really a very good excuse, is it? No, actually, I'm hesitant to remind I'm going to need to do it tomorrow because that's when it finishes. Because yes. I think I'm just not going to be able to do it first time again now. I really enjoyed doing them though. And like Rover had really nice, it was really nice chatting with him. He had really nice things to say. And then when you went back and chatted to Tom after, he was really kind to you as well. Did you go and chat to him? No, do you know what I'm thinking? I'm like, I've been talking to Tom all week, but I've been in my main character. I've not done it with my main character yet. I've only done it with the character in a tent. Yeah, it was really, he just had some nice so, stuff to say. It was, it was I'm cool. I'm going to need to do it though. See what he says. Because I know when I first went to him this week, he's saying that there was like stuff going on even after Isabel's announcement. I think I'm only two pieces away from completing my art gallery now oh really yeah uh oh, red's been holding out on me i've not seen red well i've not till i seen him at the end of last week and i got another campaign ca cam painting that's three in a row i think i've had really cam paintings i think because i used one to film my museum then i go oh no i've had two i must that must be my fourth anyway i used um, another new piece of art to buy <laughs> I'm so confused uh, the amazing or it moving painting one of the paintings that I never had oh you did a trade yeah so I did a trade oh, and then nice. obviously I won I won another the Valiant statue in a giveaway on the Discord which was great I, I did notice that that's one, that's one of the ones I need oh right yeah I needed the right half one as well but that right half has been evading me so for so long. That's pretty good going though, only two left. Yeah, and I need to have a look at, I need to go and look for some guides again for the bugs and the fish, because I've only got two bugs to catch. Is it two bugs or two? Yeah, two bugs and like a few fish. And I've got plenty of rivers now. Rivers and ponds, so... Yeah, you do. It might yeah. be quite quite good to there. I might need to host them um, fishing at mine yes. this for the, one of the tournaments. Good idea. Yeah, actually, that's what I'm going to do. And maybe we can arrange some games, like we've been saying. I think in a few po podcasts. Yeah. And it will be like new. Well, not new, really. New. It's not a huge area, but it's big enough for it to be new for people who might. So it'd be good to try and play hide and seek there or sardines or something. What about you? What have you been doing on the island so far? Oh, I've been mostly decorating the arcade this week. Uh, I think I've got a good first draft down. You know me, I need to see everything in place before I can get a sense of what it's going to be like. So I find it yeah. hard to imagine. So I've got almost all of the rooms laid out pretty much how I'd like them. So now I just need to tweak some of the wallpapers and some of the lighting some of the little items that are scattered around and then maybe yeah. make a make a couple of adjustments here and there. But I'm pretty happy with how it's coming along. Yeah, I had a sneak peek. It's looking good. Did you use halves to design room to, to 
No. Are they in the rooms? No. No. Just went for it. I probably should have, because uh, I did completely finish one room and then realised that not, they, you couldn't actually get in and sit down at any of the seats. So I've had oh. to take everything out and reorder all of the furniture for that room. So that's why that uh, the uh, room with all the switches and the TVs is not finished because that's had to be reordered. So what room was that? Was that the the empty looking one? Look like yeah. a stadium? Yeah. Because it's meant to be like two teams of four and they all have their own screens and their own switches to sit down and do like head-to-head team right. competition. But uh, when I, I had it all set up, but you couldn't actually get to the seats down the end. So they all have to go closer to the wall and I'm going to have to move to like the wall mounted TVs instead. Ah, right, okay, yep. But we've got our uh, cool kind of gambling den upstairs. Downstairs we've got our bar and games room with the billiard table and table tennis, foosball and the jukebox. As you go in, you've got all of the gumball machines and at the back you've got all the pinball machines and on the right you've got all the uh, fight combat uh, the fighting arcade machines so it looks really cool I'm really happy with how it's coming along and once that's finished I guess I'm going to do some sort of like decoration outside I've already got a couple of like kids rides yeah Ah, oh, right, yeah, like the fear ground, yeah. Because you always get them, like, little, those little ride-on yeah. thingies at outside arcades, don't you, so... Yeah, definitely. Going to have a bit of that. That'll be good. Can't wait to see it all. You're going to need to host an event as well. Invite us all yep. the games night. Yeah, definitely. Be good for getting some photos. And then we'll move on to the sixth house. No, no, not yet. <laughs> I do have ideas for a few for the rest of the houses. I feel like I want to fill the island up with. It's got the potential to have eight extra houses on, so I want. I'd like that. With ten in the end, villagers, I think. that's like eighteen, eighteen residents. That seems like yeah. huge. It's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. How would you play? Like, I don't know. What are you going to keep the house? What would you keep the houses at? Would you f- like fully out buy out? The houses to the the highest like size, the biggest size. I think it depends on on which. So obviously the library and the arcade are both fully upgraded, but that's because I had ideas for that number of rooms in them. I could, to be honest, I could do with another room in the arcade, um, maybe even another two, but. Uh, Isabel's house is still only I think it's fully expanded but only on one floor so there's no basement or attic room ah right okay and I think that's kind of fitting for her and she just lives in a wee bungalow yeah so I think it depends on what the, what the plan is but some of my some of my ideas will require full houses are you sure knows of that of that Oh, top secret just now. Yeah, when the time's right. <laughs> I don't want to commit to anything <laughs> too, too soon. Let's finish this one first. Yeah, it's looking good. Have you had any new villagers? Just Phoebe. But she's settling in nicely. i have already able to gift her. So I've had some nice exchanges with her. I thought that Raymond might ask to leave just as you just before you arrived. He was walking around with a thought bubble. But oh, yeah. Well, you know I, what to do now. Yeah, I just smacked him with a net, and then it was all fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did definitely honestly, they're not, not angry. That. That's not. That's completely beside the point. <laughs> it was an accident. I'm trying to catch butterflies. I'm um, actually because I realised I don't have common or the yellow butterfly 
models from Flick because I was obviously going after the more right, prettier ones. Yeah. Whereas in real life, I don't mind the white and yellow ones because they're quite like, common butterflies here. But it's yeah. like the big ones with the nice pretty colours that I don't like. So in real life, it freaked me out. Oh yeah, I forgot you had a butterfly thing. Yeah. There's like a wee, there's like, I can see like a, I think it's, I don't know if it's a peacock one up there, but there's a wee white yeah. one flying about us and a wee, yeah, that's fine. As long as a big one stays away. I've caught up on my statues quite well now that I've got five characters. Although the other day I had three uh, butterflies out waiting for another character to pick them up because it was the day that Flick was visiting. Oh, right. But Shari had a go at me. She was like, who's left this here? I nearly, uh, <laughs> I nearly tripped over it earlier and squ <laughs> nearly squashed the poor thing. <laughs> so I felt really, I felt guilty and tied it away. But it's, yeah, it's a lot easier getting the statues when you've got, you can do five orders every time you see them. Yeah, that'd be quite good. I'm slacking with the the, the models and they're definitely the fish. CG just annoys me. And he's sometimes in the most obscure places. Like he's like, now that I've got all that like water, um, on the island, he'll be like stuck in a wee island he's yeah. again. Yeah. Sometimes you find him up on like top level cliffs that don't have any ladders or anything. There's a couple of bits on my island where you can't get up there without a ladder because there's right. no incline. Have you always got a ladder though? Yeah. All oh, right, okay. I was just about to say, like, you carry a bin, I hope you still got a ladder. Well, I carry a ladder, but I assume that CJ has to carry a ladder if he's got himself up there. Of course, no other he's an uh, extreme, extreme sports person. He'll need to get up to high places, I'm sure. Or he's just a really good climber. Yeah. I don't know if he is or not. Yeah, I don't know. It's, just getting, uh, it's weird though, <laughs> Flick seems to walk around the island more, right? Yeah, he's chasing bugs and... But I CJ got, turns up in the weirdest him. places. Yeah. Like oh, I, what did you get? Uh, I got a diving beetle. All nice. my bugs are stored in my second character. Like any any that I catch, because my storage is so full, I just usually place them outside my second character's house and like that he'll store them. Um, but I only ever had two for some reason. So I caught one because I came back in season. So I got the diving beetle. And I got a mosquito as well, because I use the two characters. Oh yeah, I forgot about mosquitoes. Are they back in season again? Uh, is it just I don't know, the summer? I, I think, no, I think it's just the summer. I think I just had them in storage for quite a bit. Oh, that was annoying, wasn't it? When you just get stung all the time. Yeah. Oh, was it a mosquito? Maybe it was a flea. No, I think it was a mosquito I got. I think I've still got fleas to do. Had a couple of uh, lovely conversations with Biscuit this week. He's so cool. He is telling me he, all about Zoomies, which he's never told me before. I think there's been a dialogue update, right? Because we've had lots of new dialogue this week. Yeah, I don't know even know if Isabel had said something new as well today. I can't remember. He was saying how he loves running around like an aeroplane and feeling the wind against his face he's such a little cutie oh. have you caught him doing any zoomies since he said that not since no I haven't seen him doing zoomies this week but it is one of his favourite pastimes he's got to catch him at the right time of day he also told me that he could tell the time by how hungry he is and then he went <laughs> right now it's about 8.41 and he was right I was very impressed. <laughs> That's about it for my gossip this week. I did get a lecture on uh, tea drinking from Poppy as well. What and, was she saying uh, about that? She was going quite in depth, actually. It was about Darjeeling or something or other. Like, if you're ever 
it's just a yeah she was i think she was trying to get me to try and drink some darjeeling all right if only there was like somewhere you can go and get some tea with your villagers all right <laughs> okay okay we've gone weeks for that any uh talk like that i know do you know what i'm not going to say it but it was so hard not to mention last week when we were talking about the update but I did it. I was quite proud of myself. Hey, here's the thing that happened this week. Uh, in game, not not in game, but uh, game related. I got some amiibo cards in the post, so I've got quite a little uh, short list of villagers I want to invite now. Oh, nice. So who's going? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Not thought that far ahead. I haven't thought that far ahead yet. I haven't scanned anybody either. Um, but I've just been having a little look. Have you ever seen Hugh before? Hugh? No. He's a really Hugh. cool looking little pig with um like mismatched eyes. He's he's blue with little square ears. I don't know what personality type he is, but he looks amazing and I definitely so he's on my short list. And I got two sheep. I really want a sheep now. Uh since Willow Gate. <laughs> since you denied Willow for expressing her fashion. <laughs> um so I got Frita, who is obviously really cool. And then one oh, that I've yeah. not seen before, Timbra. Oh, Timbra's cool. I like Timbra. Somebody had her, but she is cool. I also got a Lucky and a Pearl amiibo, which I was really happy with. A Lucky, lucky and a Pearl. Oh, a Lucky and a Pearl. Right, okay. Oh, they were good ones. Really good. Oh, also Apple. Who is amazing? Oh. Have you had Apple, Apple? or is no. just on or one of our friends who's got Apple? Yeah, one of our friends has got Apple as a a favourite resident. But I think she's made the short list for coming to visit in the future. Nice. Maybe Penelope as well. Penelope, remind me what animals Penelope uh, she's a tiny little mouse with big pink bow oh yeah oh is it ears yep are they ears or is it a bow yeah it's, I think it's like a bow representing her ears because they're like ear shaped it's like if you know what I mean or maybe they're covering her ears they look like their ears nah they do look like ears yeah so that was a nice little treat this week well, I think that's all my gossip for this week. Um, this has been great. It's been cool catching up as usual. I had a great chat about what's been going on. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. Thanks for showing me the, the arcade so far. I'm looking forward to seeing it when it's finished. Oh, you'll have to give me some decorating tips and you always like to chip in don't you yeah well, can I say something get rid of the bears in that front room they're freaky looking they're fr the freaky looking bears yeah they're just you don't like the here. idea of them being prizes no not there I don't know nah maybe outside and what if they were staff no, they don't look like staff. That's just a big one. Oh, no, I don't, I don't know. That's just my opinion, sorry. I'm not a resident on Rialbe, so I won't be visiting regularly. You do visit quite regularly. Aye, but I don't need to go into the arcade with the creepy looking bears. <laughs> oh, I've just, sorry. Uh, are you... Sorry that I made a butterfly room in, in my house. I forgot that that might have affected you oh no 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 the, the ones in the game are pretty you're alright with them yeah they're nice to look at and they go a nice way some of the flowers as well I've been using them in the the plants pots 
So have you got plans for this coming week? Yeah, just just really to finish off like the week is it a bit like yourself. Like I think I've done the main terraforming and path laying. I just need to add we finishing touches with decorations and furniture items. Yeah. Oh nice. Can't wait to see it when it's done. We'll get a a full photo tour next time on the podcast, hopefully. Oh yeah, we're back in Rock Lockroom next week, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, thanks for having me, Luke. It's been good catching up. My pleasure. Yeah, and thanks to everybody who's joined us as well. Always a pleasure to sit and have a chat about Animal Crossing. And if any of you want to carry on chatting, you can leave us a comment or you can join us on our Discord, uh, support us on Patreon, uh, or say hi on social media. We would love to hear from you. Have a great week, Sandy. And have a great week, everybody. You too. Bye, Luke. Bye, everyone. Bye.